ride and ride and then we're riding, baby. Screech, say that we so crazy. I don't care, don't tell my trap living. I ain't tight, no tits, lights. I bring it on my worst nights. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another edition of Clickbait Media. If this is your first time here, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know whenever I drop something new. In this video, I want to talk about a man by the name of Alton Harris who was assaulted by an Uber driver while he was with his son. Alton Harris was called racial slurs and even kicked by the Uber driver. I want to show you this news clip, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts. What happened inside that ride share, Randy? Hey, guys, a racial slur and reckless driving. That ride to this dialysis center cost Anton Harris and his son their dignity and could have cost them their lives. You violated me, man, in front of my son, man. Not once, but twice, man. Like, for real. And then you almost got us killed. Assaulted, called the N-word, and nearly killed in a car crash. Anton Harris still fuming over a degrading and dangerous ride with an Uber driver Monday morning. He was headed to this dialysis center with his 10-year-old son, Anton Jr. He uses Uber because he does not have a car. The trouble started after asking the driver, who Harris says is Arab, if they could first stop at a gas station on Tyreman and Epworth. As I asked him, I said, is it all right if you take us to the gas station? so I get me something to eat while I'm on the machine. He said, yeah. Before I can come out, my son coming in there saying he cussing. Like, like tell your father to M MF to come out. You know what I'm saying? So I got in the car. I'm like, man, you ain't got to be cussing. I ain't take that long, man. Harris says the driver demanded he and his son get out of the van, but he refused because the ride was already paid for and he could have missed his treatment. Then the racial slur. He called me the N-word, dog, and he, I guess he said that, like, in order to taunt me to do something to him so I can get in trouble or to try to get out the car. The driver then allegedly got out of the van and opened Harris's door, lunging at him as if he would punch him and then kicking him. I stood up in the van. I didn't ever, I never got out of the van. I stood up in the van. And when I stood up in the van, he ran around and got in the car and he just, he just started flying up living noise. Harris says he ran red lights, drove in bike lanes, and nearly crashed into another vehicle at Livernois and Davison. Man, we came this close from that, that car hitting us, man. Like, for real. And officers from the 12th Precinct met him there, where they arrested the driver. Harris is relieved he and his son survived the wild ride and that he kept his cool. Like if I'd have, like if I'd have jumped on that man in that car, man, I'd have been in some serious trouble, man. I'd have been, like, like they would have gave me the book. Like for real, they would have gave me the book, man. My son would have been all displaced and miscellaneous, man. I'd have been trying to find out how to get some bond money, get out and all kind of miscellaneous stuff, man. And as a single dad, his son could have ended up with CPS Child Protective Services had he been arrested for retaliating or responding to that driver. The driver is in police custody being held at Detroit Detention Center. Are you on, Taryn? Randy, did Uber say anything about this? Do we know if this driver had any problems or anything similar like this happening in the past? Uh, no issues with any other Uber driver in the past. This is the first time he's had this driver, but... He's He comes to this uh, dialysis treatment center three times a week, all the time with an Uber, never any issues then uh, but, well, beforehand. Now, I'm told that a warrant request could be sent to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office sometime tomorrow. Now, this man is a single father raising his son, so I commend him for that. And I also commend him for keeping his cool, for not wanting to beat the living stew out of that driver. For one for calling him the N word, two for kicking him in front of his son. Now, if he had a problem with taking that man to the store, he just should have said no. He didn't have time or whatever. Now, as far as cussing at the child, that's different. You don't cuss at other people's children. Matter of fact, you don't even supposed to cuss at your own children. And that's one of the third things I commend him for for not whooping his ass for cussing at my son. 
And then after all that, you had the nerve to go do some road rage. You did the right thing. So just how racist you was or whatever you called yourself wanting to be. Because that was straight nonsense. And if the police got you, they should do something to you. As far as these charges. Like they compile charges up. You should have a whole list of charges that they should give you. If they don't get you with one, they'll get you with that one. But I commend you once again, my brother, for staying strong for your son. But I want to just say, go get you a lawyer. That's what we need to start doing every time Uber drivers start getting out of hand. Maybe Uber and Lyft will start tightening themselves up on who they hire. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Clickbait Media. I am your host, Rob Caesar, baby. And I am up out of here. Peace. It's riding, riding, then we're riding, baby. Squeak, say that we so crazy. I don't care, don't you ever try playing me. I ain't tight, no tits, lights. I bring it on my worst nights.